Why are you hidden? Because you did not know that you was from the tribe of Judah, Eric. My people don't know that they're God's chosen people. Right. It's hidden. Now, how did it become hidden? Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come, Eric, let us cut them off from being a what? A nation. What goes into nationhood, Eric? Everything, your culture, your language, the way you teach your children. Hell, the way you get together with a woman is all cultural. Because how you approach each other, how you deal with each other, then you pass it on to your children. That's all within a, a culture, all within a nation. Right. But they said, to do what to you, Eric? To cut you off. That's why when I ask you, you see yourself up here? You know the gravity of that? Nah, I ain't. let me look, let me, let me see. Damn, Judah, you don't understand the work it took for them to make sure you don't know who you are. You don't understand the levels, the money, the resources. Look at this, I, I'll show you plenty. Right here. Right. That's one example of the works. Right? So, my brother Eric, now knowing that you are one of the 12 tribes of Israel, what's required of you? Because now you find out your enemies have cut you off from being a nation, cut you off from your culture. What must you do now? There you go. There you go. And that's what, jump back to Matthew 4 and 17. So that's what we were teaching earlier, our brother Eric. I like that. So knowing that your enemies are trying to cut you off, and if they have cut you off, what must you do? You must restore yourself. You must figure out what have they taken from you. Let's read. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Why is it at hand? Because guess what? The last days are here. God is waking us up. Guess what? Hundreds of years of slavery, we did not know who we were. But now all of a sudden we know who we are now? That's because the end is at hand. Right. So my brother Eric, you got to come into repentance. Now, what would you say repentance is, my brother Eric? Okay, hey, that's fine. That's what we're here for. That's why you got your brothers. So my brother Eric saying he don't really know what repentance is, what that looks like. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, right? Start at verse 1. Because I want to show you the rewards for repentance. And I'm going to show you the downside to it. All right? And then we're going to see, do we really want to repent? And if we don't repent, what's going to happen? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. You have kids, Eric? Right? So when they're doing good, you're straight A's, they're doing what you told them to do, you reward them, right? Then when they disobey you or talk back, what happens? Punishment. There you go. So likewise, your Father in heaven, now you come into repentance. If you do well, there's good for you. If not, there's something else. Let's read. <laughs> and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you shall listen carefully, intensively. So you got to listen to what's coming out, my brother Eric. Read. To observe. And to do. To observe, meaning to watch, to learn, to see, and then to do them, to have an action behind them. Because a lot of times we learn things and we just don't do it, right? Read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that, all, that the Lord thy God. That the Lord your God, Eric, he's not the God of the whole world. I know the misconception, the lie has been told that he has come to save everyone. But when you look around you, who needs saving? Is it the whole world? Who's the billionaires? Who's the millionaires? Right? Who's the wealthy? Who's the well-off? Generation to generational wealth. Is that you and me? That's not you and I. Right. So God's coming to save a certain people because only a certain people need saving. Right. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. God will set you on high, Eric. Why would he set you on high? Because he said, if you obey him and you keep his commandments, I'm going to reward you. Right. That's what you told me earlier, Eric. You said, if your children listen to you, they got a reward coming. That's, that's my baby. I got you. Don't even, you don't even got to sweat. I got you. Because that's what a father does for his children. And our father, our God, that if we obey him, he's going to do what? He going to, there you go, by setting us on high. Read. Above all nations of the earth. Come on through, family. Come on closest. 
We try to teach you that you're meant to be above all nations on the earth. Right. Are you above all nations on the earth right now, Eric? You're not. And why is that? Jump to 15. Listen up, family. We teaching Eric and we teaching our family. Why are we at the bottom of society? Why do we have such low incomes? Right? Why are we living under the curses of America? Why are we at the bottom of society, the dregs of society? Why is that? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass is right now. We're living that it shall come to pass. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you do not listen to God, if you don't listen, what's going to happen? Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. All these what, Eric? All these curses. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing, Eric? It's a bad thing. Nobody want to be cursed. But when you look around and you see our people in this low estate, are we blessed or cursed? You know. You know. But what's fighting your mind right now is that Christian, I'm blessed and highly favored. That's what's in your mind right now, right? Because who told us that? This man right here. Right. We sit in his institution known as church every Sunday that one day that he would give us off to worship the sun god in slavery. And now we believe in a white Jesus. Now we believe that we're blessed and highly favored. We're going to get the kingdom. We don't need to have a good life now because that's what master taught. Don't worry about right now. Yeah, you're poor right now, but you're going to get riches in heaven. Yeah, that yoke of iron is hard on your neck, but don't worry. You're going to be free and fly like a bird in the sky. That's what they told us back then. So now we walk around, I'm blessed and highly favored. I don't really know if I'm blessed or I'm cursed. You're cursed, Eric. Right. Look, I'm telling you, look around you very carefully and you'll realize it, right? The Lord will give you eyes all these scriptures and show you that you are cursed as a people. Right. Now, name a curse for me or a bad thing, Brother Eric, that your people deal with. Low income, okay. Read this for me. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let's find out what's overtaking us. Read 16. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shall you be in the city, so-called black man and woman. Cursed shall you be in the city, so-called Latin man and Latin woman. Cursed. Now how are we cursed in the city? Low income? Police brutality? Our children growing up in single parent households? Right. If they even home. Murder. Black on black crime. Those are all curses that's in our community. Right. Look at this shop right here. There's a list of nothing but unclean foods on this window. But if you didn't know no better, you wouldn't eat it. And guess what our people are doing? Eating it. Why? Because they don't know that God said you should only eat things with fins and scales that come out of the waters. Right. But what's on that list of items? Nothing with fins and scales. Why is that? To keep y'all in this lower state. Because we just read if you break God's commandments, all these what's gonna come upon you? Curses. You don't think your enemies know that? I just told you they took a crafty counsel against you. Then we just read that? They take, that they took a sneaky gathering. Hmm, how can we get these people on the bottom? Because they ruling over us right now, and I don't like that. How can we destroy these people? Oh, they guys said that they shouldn't eat crab, shrimp, lobster, oysters, clam. Let's take a look at that list. Let's see, live crabs, snow crab legs, Raw shrimp, steamed shrimp, oysters, clams, scallops. But God said in Leviticus 11, get that for me. God said in Leviticus 11 that it must have fins and scales. You don't think he knows that? Or his people didn't know that once upon a time? Of course they did. But he owns that shop and he sets up in your community so that you can be cursed. By example, nation is family. Nation 